Well, look, I think uh, in terms of driving change from centralized to decentralized, you, you, you have to both change your, the processes around the company, but you also have to change your mind. You know, I think when you're a leader, and most change has both of those uh, going on at the same time. So I think when, you, when it comes to how do you change it from a process standpoint, you simply empty out headquarters, you localize capability, you localize resources, you delegate decision making, and that's how you kind of begin the change. But I think as a leader, you have to change how you spend your time. You, you can't spend as much time in headquarters. You have to change the way you think about risk. You have to be able, willing to put risk and capability in the field. So I think you, you have to not only change all the things around you, but you also have to change the way your own mind is wired in order to make that kind of, that kind of disruption and change. Yeah, so what I would say is uh, from headquarters, everything looks risky. Right when when you're in headquarters and you're trying to do a power project in Nigeria, uh, every opportunity looks small and every decision looks risky. When you actually transport yourself to Nigeria and you realize that the country has a 40 gigawatt deficit of electricity, they're surrounded by natural gas. Nothing looks risky. So it's a combination of really being able to see things for yourself. Don't don't follow the con conventional wisdom and see things on your own terms.